Archaeologists have discovered the oldest human fossil ever found outside Africa. High on a mountain in northern Israel, a team of researchers are searching for the roots of modern man. They find a fossil buried deep beneath the ground, and later investigations suggest that it's the oldest evidence of Homo sapiens ever found outside of Africa. This being the case, this discovery could have astounding implications for history, as we have hereunto known it. Millions of years ago, our planet was populated by a diverse range of creatures, but somewhere down the line, the great apes emerged. Some of these creatures went on to evolve into the orangutans and chimpanzees that we can see today, but others evolved in a different way. Over time, the Homo emerged, the categorization of species that would eventually spawn modern man. And after a number of our early relatives had evolved, the humans we know today finally developed. But all these thousands of years later, we still today understand little about how it all took place. In fact, what scientists know about human evolution is changing all the time. After all, there are no written records to draw upon, and relics such as tools can be difficult to date. However, experts are able to shine a light into the darkness by studying the fossilized remains of early humans. Through fossils, scientists are able to understand more about our species, and until recently, they had led them to believe that modern humans emerged some 200,000 years ago. However, a skull discovered in Morocco in 2017 was dated to some 100,000 years before that. So, while scientists have not been sure when early humans evolved, they have long believed that they knew where they came from. Experts have broadly agreed that the first Homo sapiens emerged somewhere on the African continent and they then spread out across the globe. This idea began to take hold in 1871 when Charles Darwin suggested that Africa was the cradle of human life. Writing in The Descent of Man, Darwin pointed towards the fact that gorillas and chimpanzees, two of mankind's closest relatives, still lived on the continent during his own time. From this, he reasoned that it could also have been where Homo sapiens first emerged. However, when the remains of other Homo species were found around Europe and Asia, Darwin's ideas were dismissed. Then in 1924, something incredible was discovered. The fossilized skull of a boy thought to have died more than two million years before. Dubbed the Tong Child, the remains were eventually identified as belonging to Australopithecus africanus a supposed early forebearer to modern humans. Over time, excavations in the area revealed more fossils similar to the Tong Child, and eventually the scientific community came to accept that the first humans had likely emerged on the African continent, just as Darwin had suggested. And for years, this theory of human evolution remained dominant around the world. However, thousands of miles away, in Israel, a team of archaeologists have stumbled across something that could change that narrative for good. Back in 2001, Professor Mina Weinstein Evron from Israel's University of Haifa and Professor Israel Hershevitz from Tel Aviv University joined forces, and together they set out to work on an ambitious excavation. Dubbed the Mislia Cave Project, the dig aimed to excavate a site high up on Mount Carmel in northern Israel. Many experts believe that this region was settled in Paleolithic times, and in Mislia Cave itself, Archaeologists had found layers of history dating as far back as up to 400,000 years. Moreover, archaeologists believe that Mislia had once been populated by early humans. In fact, they'd previously determined it had been inhabited between 250,000 and 160,000 years in the past. Apparently, dating procedures performed on pieces of flint had suggested this time frame, which would see it fall under early Middle Paleolithic period. At Mislia, Weinstein Evron and Hershkovitz hoped to find the holy grail of paleoanthropology, evidence that would shed light on the origins of Homo sapiens. Nothing, however, could have prepared them for what they would uncover. As Weinstein Evron put it to the Times of Israel in 2018, we found something even more surprising. For ten or so years, archaeologists excavated the region around Mislia and slowly they began to build up a fascinating picture of ancient life in the mountains of Israel. For example, a huge cache of some 60,000 tools was recovered, shedding light on how early humans lived and worked. Forged from flint, the tools represented a number of different stages of human development. 
and while the archaeologists found primitive axes among the relics they also uncovered more advanced pieces such as knives and projectiles amazingly experts also discovered evidence of how the tools had once been used the new zoological data from Mislia cave particularly the abundance of meat bearing limb bones displaying filleting cut marks and the acquisition of prime age prey demonstrate that early middle paleolithic people possessed developed hunting capabilities researchers reported in a 2007 article for the journal of human evolution moreover archaeologists discovered a vast array of animal remains at the site they had a delicatessen in the cave Weinstein Evron quipped to the Times of Israel in fact she noted that meat from creatures such as auroch wild boar and hare were all present as well as ostrich eggs they supped on ham and eggs she continued however the most exciting discovery was that of a jawbone this had been dug up from the earth in 2002 apparently the bone was uncovered by a freshman student the first time he had attended one of the group's digs buried in what's known as petrified soil the fossil was carefully taken from the cave and sent to a laboratory there the painstaking task of removing layers of sediment from the find began it's a frustrating process that takes a lot of time Hershkovitz explained to the Times of Israel it must be done step by step in order to not damage the fossil it took about a year just to clean it up and prepare it for study eventually the discovery was revealed in all its glory and the archaeologists were amazed by what they'd found to their surprise the fossilized jawbone appeared to be that of a modern human however there were some problems with this conclusion Apparently the discovery had been made within layers believed to date to the early middle paleolithic period specifically between 250 and 140,000 years ago So given that the team felt they could confidently assume that the fossil was more than hundred twenty thousand years old However up until then the earliest evidence of homo sapiens outside Africa had been dated to between 90,000 and hundred twenty thousand years ago So had they broken this record with their startling discovery? Interestingly previous fossils had also been discovered in Israel in another cave close to Mount Carmel There had also been past discoveries at a different site around 30 miles away at Mount precipice near Nazareth But despite this background the team found it difficult to convince others of the legitimacy of their incredible find It looked so modern that it took us five years to convince people because they couldn't believe their eyes Weinstein Evron told the New York Times in 2018 so the team embarked on a quest to secure a concrete date for their find and even though the fossil only consisted of an upper jawbone and eight teeth it revealed a large amount of information apparently one of the first steps was to send the fossil to the University of Vienna this is where paleoanthropologist Gerhard W Weber runs a virtual laboratory there experts set about determining whether the jawbone had come from a homo sapiens or a form of Neanderthal in his laboratory Weber produced a 3d model of the fossil allowing him to see its features in greater detail Moreover he was able to virtually strip away the teeth's outer layers and with that data He compared the jawbone to other homo sapiens remains as well as examples from other homo species Eventually Weber concluded that the jawbones characteristics match those of a homo sapien it's not a little bit modern or on the border of being modern he told the New York Times it's a really modern human and following this thorough research other experts began to agree however that wasn't the end of the dating process after that researchers in Israel Australia and France got to work on the fossil through enamel and dentin from the teeth themselves as well as tools found near the fossil and sediment from the jawbone they were able to learn more about the ancient find Eventually the experts revealed a startling date for the fossil and just as the team had suspected its age was in line with other discoveries at the site In fact the human that the jawbone belonged to is thought to have lived between 177,000 and 194,000 years ago This thing is as old as we thought it was and it was probably the earliest homo sapien out of Africa ever found Anthropologist Rolf Elm Quam from New York's Binghamton University told the New York Times it's not often you can make a superlative statement but in this case we can 
In January 2018, the team were ready to reveal their discovery to the world, and although their findings were unusual, they are not the only experts with evidence supporting a different narrative of human evolution. In fact, some believe that Homo sapiens may have existed in Eurasia as many as 220,000 years in the past. Furthermore, some experts believe that those early humans might have mixed their genes with Neanderthals. It has long been suspected that different species of Homo interbred with each other. However, the new dates suggested by this fossil have forced archaeologists to reconsider the nature of those relationships. It means modern humans were potentially meeting and interacting during a longer period of time with other archaic human groups, providing more opportunity for cultural and biological exchanges. Quam, who was co-creator of the research, told The Guardian in 2018. However, that wasn't the only revelation. Up until recently, most experts believe that Homo sapiens first left Africa around 60,000 years ago. Earlier remains had, of course, previously been found in Israel, but it had been theorized that these were left over from unsuccessful attempts at migration. In fact, in 2015, archaeologists announced that they would found human teeth believed to be 100,000 years old in China. This is thousands of miles from where Homo sapiens are thought to have emerged. However, the recent study of the Mislia jawbone could represent the earliest discovery of modern humans outside of Africa yet. According to some experts, findings like these suggest that early humans spread across the planet in a series of migrations rather than in one push. What Mislia tells us is that modern humans left Africa not 100,000 years ago, but 200,000 years ago, Hershkovitz told The Guardian. This is revolutionary in the way we understand the evolution of our species. Moreover, experts believe that early humans were not merely passing through the region around Mount Carmel. In fact, evidence suggests that the site was inhabited for an extended period. It was a central train station. People were coming and going through this land corridor from one continent to another, and it was occupied all the time, Hershkovitz told the journal Nature in 2018. It is believed that the area might have presented a challenging habitat for early humans with lengthy dry spells interspersed with wetter periods. However, some experts think that the Mislia fossil could be evidence that Israel was once part of a bigger region that bridged the gap between Asia and North America. But while the Mislia fossil has sparked an interesting debate, some have expressed doubt over its true age. For example, there have been concerns that multiple x-rays could have skewed radiation readings. Furthermore, it has been suggested that material on the jawbone could have further influenced the dating process. However, the team has defended their discovery, pointing out that the fossil was found alongside tools dating from a similar era. And if their findings are correct, the discovery could have huge implications for the future of paleoanthropology. As Hershkovitz told Science in 2018, if our species was in Israel 200,000 years ago, it suggests our species is very old, not just 300,000 years old, but older. Please follow us to get more beautiful stories. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.